Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Well, guys, it's the morning before sick week. We're about to fire up mullet for the first time on pump gas. It's only been on methanol on the SMX. And then we are going to... Oh, look at that. Because pump gas is just, it's not going to like it as much, but the air fuels look good. So, well, there we go. It, it works. <laughs> so, let's try and uh, put it on the trailer. I got the race week trailer almost ready to go. We need to check the transmission. Oh, yeah. Let's drive it over. Fill it up. Top it off with fuel. Factory. Yep. All right. Well, let's get it ready to move. Well, what are we going to do if it doesn't lock the converter? Well, I'll probably be stopping in Missouri. Yeah, I go to Evan Avenue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work too. Alright, we're gonna head to the Frito factory and get some gas. We're just really hoping the lockup turns on. That'll help us a lot this week. You gotta have it. All right, there we go, new Super Duty. Let's hope the CP4 doesn't blow on it. We got mullet loaded up, bags on the turbos, fresh polish from Mr. Sam. He's buying them down, brother. So we are ready to win Summer Sick Week, boys. Let's do this. All right, guys, here we are at Cordova Dragway. We've got all these great people out here. Woo! So, mullet made it. We're gonna try and get mullet off the trailer real quick. And then we gotta... Then we got to make it through tech inspection and go from there. Just got unloaded, got through tech, and we got some tunes from Pete. We got a 680 tune up in the car, and they actually have open testing today. So we're going to go make it a little hit to the eighth mile, make sure this thing's dialed. We're going to do a quick two-step check, make sure it's good, because we're at a higher elevation here than we would be in Florida, sea level. So without further ado. Test pass. It's gonna be a great week. Let's get it. It's a nice light file rip here. It would feel so good. All right, we got 
got mullet out here. Sick week day zero. We're gonna do a little test pass real quick since everything with the transmission and getting the car ready. Make sure it can uh, do an eight mile pass real quick. Make sure we're dialed for tomorrow. Forty-seven at seventy-six lift, and we'll get that eighth number off the slip. It's okay, because a lot of people spun. We're gonna need to uh, be like the first guys down in the morning. Yeah, it's really hot. Track was, uh, felt a little gooey. Dude, if we don't get our pass time bright and early tomorrow, we're in trouble. We need a good run right off the rip, like a trusty 690. Yep. Because I think the tracks are just gonna get really hot the rest of the day like this. Absolutely, it was oh, pretty gooey. Crap. I'll look at the day in the long <laughs> Nah, it didn't even like, move, dude. It was like, Yeah, it, it wicked up pretty hard. Help being on the trans brake crew. No, you long definitely, time. you were, <laughs> you were thought, definitely like, there. I would take the longer, I thought I'd be the longer car to school. Yeah. The kind of time I am. But, you know, Molly can sit on the brake, I guess. Whatever. He's good for it. Yeah. Just to give you guys an idea of how chill this tune-up is, we left on six pounds of boost. And then you'll see here, we were only making about 11 PSI when it shot the tires off. So it made it not even eight tenths of a second into the run before it knocked the tires off. This is the G meter here. So once you see that fall, the car is no longer accelerating. Pete made us several tunes. He made us a 7.0, a 690, a 680. This was the 680 tune up. I guess the 701 is quite a bit more relaxed, so we might hit that off the rip tomorrow, because I don't want to do this in the morning and then we're really in trouble. But other than that, a little pressure, everything's good. Transmission pressures look good, so we think the transmission is all good to go. All right, well, <laughs> things are not looking good, okay? <laughs> things are not looking good. Car runs, did not hook. There's so many cars in the test session that we would probably have to wait another three hours to run again and it's just getting hotter and hotter. So we're gonna put the car away. We're gonna come back early tomorrow, be the first ones down the track is our plan. And we have to utilize that pass to the best of our abilities. Cause at these events, you really don't get a run, but every two or three hours. So if we get in early, we make one of the first hits of the day, we'll have good track prep while it's nice and cool. If we get that done, then we pack it up make the drive but that's you know if everything goes amazing so hopefully that'll put us in a good spot for tomorrow morning but hey we're going in we, we made it we made it to testing we made it through tech zach and i are gonna have a freaking river of a week i'm sure 
But until tomorrow, the first day of Summer Sleep Week starts. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for the Elbow Freaking. See you later.